Hi, great team. Um, I just want to go through the little membrane function uh, model answer. Um, in your email, you will find the, um, that I've, I've forwarded back to you, it's been marked. Um, most people did quite well in this. You just need to look at um, how the question is worded and mark allocation and that kind of thing. Okay, so let me show you the model and it is saved on Google Classroom as well. Okay, so what do we have here? Now, if you remember, okay, so oh, there it is. All right, I actually, I set it up this morning, um, but I didn't have enough iodine at home. So when I got home this evening from school, teaching the tricks, etc., I added some more iodine about a half an hour ago. Okay, so it hasn't quite finished, but there you can see, there you can see the little um, dialysis tubing bag with start solution, and it started to go blue black. And then remember, into the beaker there was water, and I added iodine solution. So as I said this, mo this morning, I didn't have enough of this. I took more from school, and I've just added more. But by tomorrow morning, this iodine solution will become clear, and the um, starch solution in the dialysis tubing bag will be very blue black. All right, so I'll actually post a photo of it in the morning. Okay. So it's how you word your answers. You can't just look for words, it's how you word your answers. And even while I'm marking, I think, well, oh, this, that, and then I've got to think of how this person says it. And okay, so let's just go through. All right, so normally I ask, um, I give a mark for labeling this bit here, but I mean, you couldn't label here. So I just, ask you to label the structures so normally I give a mark for label lines and they're all one below each other and then two marks for the labeling stuff. Okay so the first structure here was the dropper or the a, a, a pathetic spawn. Okay then iodine it's actually a solution all right because it's it's iodine mixed with water so it's pretty dilute so it's being very yellow. We don't you know iodine would be iodine crystal. So it's not too serious. And then the beaker C, D is the start solution. E is the dialysis tubing bag. You can't just say bag. You need to have something about dialysis tubing there. And then F, some people said water. I had iodine solution. Because you, know, you do drop the iodine solution into the water to make it a, a dilute iodine solution. All right, then. Describe what is the blue. So this is quite a clever little worksheet because allows you to practice what you will get asked in practicing at 21 and 12. What did you observe? So at the beginning the iodine solution is yellow. By tomorrow it becomes clear or transparent. So iodine solution becomes clear or transparent. What did you see? Okay. The start solution it was white. So start solution one mark it turned blue black. What did you see? I don't want explanations. Nothing else. Describe. Tell me what you see. Okay. Question number three. Okay. So the reaction of the iodine with starch yields a blue black color. Thus, what must have happened to the iodine solution? Please, people. And okay, I know you couldn't really highlight here, but read slowly. Don't rush through these things. If it takes a little bit longer, it takes a bit longer. Rather, do it nicely. Okay. So the, what must have happened to the iodine molecules in the water in the beaker? All right. Well, they must have moved, but they must have diffused. Okay, the iodine molecules. They must have diffused into the salt solution inside the dialysis tubing bag. Why? Because there's a high concentration of iodine molecules in the iodine solution. And they diffuse into the star solution in the bag where there's a low, there wasn't any, so there's a low concentration of iodine. And it's by diffusion. And also, I mean, you could have said, um, oh, okay, I've got the two reports. You didn't have to say that. There's something about the iodine molecules diffusing into the bag, and then something about why they do that, because there's a difference in concentration. Okay, I could have actually made this out of three months. I mean, you know, we could talk about the four or the other. Number four. What, sorry, which substance, iodine, water, or starch, did not pass through the bag? Explain how you know this. The starch, because as the solution in the bag turns blue black, 
not the iodine solution because if the starch molecules move out of the bag to the iodine solution in the beaker, then the outside, the iodine solution will turn to black. And that's what you do. That's how you lose your iodine. What assumption can thus be made regarding the structure, structure of the dialysis tubing which was used based on the results of you observed? Explain your answer. It must have small pores in it. So that's what I initially wanted, and I wanted that specifically. And then I gave a marker saying semi permeable differential with possibly remember. So you get a bonus mark. Okay. Explain your answer. What assumption can be made? It must have small pores in it because it only allows small iodine molecules to diffuse to it into the little bag, but it doesn't let large starch molecules move out. Okay. So I shouldn't have given a mark for semi permeable, etc. Because that's just a name. What does that mean? It means it's got small pores in it. Now, this, if you do answer with semi permeable, then your conclusion is going to be quite similar. So, question number six. Refer to the original diet, original aims. So, in our prep, grade 11, grade 12, we always go back to the original aim, and they're not always going to tell you that. You need to go back to the original aim and make a conclusion about what this whole thing was about. So, you go back up to the beginning. There. The aim of this investigation is to determine if the dialysis tubing is differentially permeable. I could have said semi or partially permeable. If the dialysis tubing is differentially permeable. So, go back here. So, conclusion. The dialysis tubing is differentially permeable. Then you're going to say why? Because it only allows small molecules to the big ones. All right, I think people did say other things to you. Okay, but you know, sometimes they gave the exact same answer as number five. But that's because they didn't say something about small pores. Okay, I hope you can hear this because I've just realized I don't have it. Yeah, that's on. Um, okay, number seven. Assuming that the dialysis tubing is similar to a cell membrane, explain the function of a cell membrane. So we use something inanimate, human made, to try and figure out how a cell membrane works. So the cell membrane, what Meaning that it's similar to explain the function of a cell membrane. It controls what moves into and out, out of the cell, just like the dialysis tubing bag membrane. So it controls what moves in, so only iodine, not the large salt molecules out. And yes, there would be um, movement of water molecules, diffusion of water molecules. But we weren't looking for that. I did not ask you to look at the size of the bag or the volume of the solution in the beaker. You know, that would evaporate. And we didn't measure way the, the volume of the bag. So you can't really talk about more figure. Okay, so last one. I know you don't like this. Name a membrane that needs to be present in a plant cell. I've highlighted that now, but not in an animal cell. Tonoplast, you know, because most animal cells don't have a back cell. And the chloroplast membrane. So I put that in this picture. Okay, that's my story.